Jason, uh, Auburn two four seven. What's what's this camp been like for for you guys as wide receiver, kind of settling into Ike Killyard and, and how's how's that transition going? You know, we're just trying to find our rhythm, get everything together, and find out like who's gonna be able to play and everything. And who's ready? I think with Coach Hill, it's been really good. You know, he's able to been able to develop us as a group, find out like what each of our skills is, and help us tune our skills. So it's gonna be it's been good. Jabari, it's Brian Matthews, Auburn Sports Do you feel like the receiver group as a whole has improved since last year? Yeah, I feel like it's improved a lot. You know, we've gotten some new guys, some freshmen that just came in. They've been doing pretty good. Some transfers, you know, they've been pretty good. The guys that have been here, you know, have stepped up. Um, Tavares Dawson, he's he came in last year. You know, he's found his rhythm and everything, and he's playing a whole lot better and practicing better. So I think as a whole group that we're going to be much better. Bar. Well, when I decided to come back, it was more so like getting back into it because I've been out for a while with the team. So getting back, building a relationship with the team, getting back stronger because I've been out of the weight room for a while. So it's been more so just trying to get my body right and get ready to come back and be like physically with the, physically and mentally with the team. You know, my decision, you know, I'm here for Harson and stand by Harson. So, you know, I, I like him. I think he's a really great coach. So ultimately him and the players on the team, Help me make my decision to stay. Barb, what is what is Coy brought to the room? I mean, we, we heard a lot in the offseason about kind of how, how good his hands are. Just what kind of receiver? Yeah, is so he he's a really, he can really catch the ball. You know, he works hard. So I feel like you could put him on anywhere. You could put him from slide to outside, and I feel like he's going to be very good. You know, he's a very good route runner. Knows he's played a little bit, so he's he knows a lot about the game. So is that what he's been doing? Kind of shifts it around to different yeah. spots for him. Um, the bias all about yelled at that. Hope you're doing well today. You said what now? Hope you're doing well today. You said I'm doing man. well. Good, good to have you here, man. Um, what have you noticed with TJ Finley and his progression? Um, more so like he's just becoming more of a leader, vocal leader. You know, he's stepped up. You know, he's taking his game a lot farther by becoming a leader. So that's been the biggest thing. And then with that, what's it like when Ashford goes on the run as a receiver? When he goes on the run? Yeah. Basically knowing that either he's going to run the ball or he's going to throw it. More likely he's going to run it, but he he can throw it too. So it's more so just you know finding an open hole that he's able to outrun some of the, the uh, defenders. So just being able to find somewhere to get open and he'll just throw it to you. Var, for you, what what was what's the step for you going from from last season, kind of finally kind of getting an opportunity to do? What's the next step for you as a player heading into this season? So my next step is to like just find my role and with the team and be able to improve that stuff. So for me, I've been working a lot on becoming a better route runner, you know, uh, learning the defenses, learning all the coverages, you know, that's been my main thing is just learning all the coverages. So when we're playing that I'll be able to like know the coverages and know what spots I can like the weaknesses that and that I can attack at. So that's why I think I can find my game on. Or you mentioned Chick and his improvement. What's the biggest thing that you've seen from him? You obviously he was here last year. From from last year to this camp, what do you think has been his biggest point of improvement? His confidence. He, you know, when he came in, he didn't have very much confidence. But I think that now that he's been in the system for a year now, his confidence has improved as he's learned the plays. You know, he's able. Once you learn the plays, you're able to go out there and play. So he's been able to just run out there, and not think about anything, and not have any pressure on him. So I think that's been the biggest improvement for him. Bar, I, I think in the spring. I'm, I just take it day by day. So I just, you know, he he said like there was a room for improvement. I think like every game I went out there and just tried to give him my all. So next, coming this next season and this season, I'm gonna continue to just give him my all and see where it goes. I, I really don't have much control over it. It's all in the quarterback's hands. So I can just only control what I can control. What's it like as a receiver in a quarterback battle? You know, you have three different mm -hmm. quarterbacks line position, guys throw it differently. What's that like for you um, as you kind of adjust to all that? I think it's pretty cool. You know, you get a chance to get 
catches from all different kinds of quarterbacks, you know, all have different throwing styles, different styles. So I think it's pretty cool just being able to catch balls from three different players, you know. And you, you learn a lot from each each one of them too because they're all different in their own way. So I think it's pretty cool. What are the differences in the balls from each guy? Well, you know, you, you got one guy that's six seven, and then you got one like six three, and then you got like one that's faster. So he's able to move around a lot better, which, you know, with a lot of defenses, they don't do good with scramble drills. So I think that is a big thing too. So it's just all different trajectory uh, passes and from each one of them. Mark, what do you like about Coach Hillier and sort of his style of coaching, I guess? Uh, he really knows the game. You know, he's actually, he's been here, he's done it. So just being able to have him come in and teach us the knowledge that he gained is the biggest thing. So. I think that's what I like the most is that he knows what he's talking about. You feel like you're able to sort of pick his brain finding the back there? Yeah, he, he comes in and he teaches each one of us a lot. You know, we have our individual questions that we ask during meetings and everything, and he's able to help us out with them. So. You're the impact ESPN 167. What have you seen out of the true freshman receivers? And did, they, did they show up ready to go? Yeah, I think they all came in ready to go. All of them came in, they worked hard. You know, you got Camden. He's been working, you know, I've heard his name a lot. He's been working, he's he's legit. Um, I think Amari, he's pretty good. You know, I played with him in high school, my uh, senior year and his freshman year. So I've gotten a chance to look at him quite a while ago. But overall, I think that they are, they came in ready to play. Is Coach Hill, you're kind of a laid back guy and you're kind of a laid back. Do you feel like it's a pretty good match yeah. for you guys working together? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's very laid back. I think I'm laid back too. So just having someone that you come in and you know, y'all both are kind of like, got the same personality is pretty cool. So. Have you ever heard him raise his voice? No, I haven't yet. He doesn't raise his voice. <laughs> is he one of the few football coaches you ever had who doesn't? Like yeah, he's, yeah he, he's different from all the coaches, but I think he's a really good coach though. Is it is it easier to take advice from someone like Ike Hilliard, knowing what he's accomplished as a football player and as a coach, and, and knowing you know, what he's done in his past? Yeah, it's, it's easier to like trust him because he's done it before. So I think ultimately, like you know, you can't really just like not listen to what he say because he's done it before. You know, he's coached the NFL too. So. Lord Justin Overton, Auburn Live. You, you talked a little bit about why you came back and the players kind of convincing you to to come back and play with Harson. Why did you? enter the portal in the, in the first place? It was just, I had like a, a hard time going on and it was just like a decision that I made with my family and then I took some time off and then thought about it and, and realized like this is where I wanted to be, you know. I've been here going on to my fourth year now, you know, the connection I have with each player on the team. So that was like the biggest thing too for me, was just not like leaving my, my boys because you know, I've been here for a while and I made connections with them, so. Mark Murphy from Inside the Auburn Tigers. How big a deal is it going to be for receivers to make more big plays like 15, 20, 25 yard plus gainers this year? I don't think it's going to be, going to be that big for us. I mean, I, each one of us, we have it in us to be able to go out there and make them plays. It's just more so who wants some more and who's going to fight to try to make them plays. I believe in our group, though. Time for like one more question if we have one. Uh, Jamari, so I graduated from Springville and I've literally watched you since middle school and over school. Yeah. What's it like to come from tiny place like St. Clair County up to a big level like this in Auburn? It's a very big difference, you know. You come from not really knowing many people, you know, being around like nobody really knowing you to you come in to a place like Auburn where it's like you got a big fan base where in St. Clair there's not much of a fan base, it's very small. You really don't get very much recognition there, so it's it's very different from where I came from, but I've gotten adjusted to it. All right, that was it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.